Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com and I'm coming today at you with another video about GPR versus X-ray. Now, I got a, here's a disclaimer, okay? I don't know all that much about X-ray for concrete scanning. And that's what this is about. GPR versus X-ray for concrete scanning. And we're gonna take this video a little bit different than the rest of the videos because I'm really going to encourage you all to comment below after you watch this video and the video is over, comment below because I need to hear your response to this. When I do these kinds of videos, right, a GPR versus something, and you know, I'll link up um, below in the, in the uh, uh, you know, um, description for the video, a video that I did about GPR versus EM locators, okay, or right here, but in this case, GPR versus X-ray, Right? I, I can't be all that balanced, okay? GPR versus EM locators, I gave a very balanced assessment, limitations of GPR, benefits of GPR, limitations of locators, benefits of locators. In this case, I've spoken to a couple people lately, not many, not many, just a few, who have told me they have tried GPR, they were not impressed, they didn't like it, they won't use it, and they continue to use X-ray solely, only x-ray. So let's go through some of the comparisons between GPR and x-ray, and then at the end of the video, I want you to put in the comments, if I miss a problem with x-ray, an additional problem with x-ray, but more importantly, I want you to help me be balanced, help me get more information, help create a discussion. What does x-ray do better than ground penetrating radar? I want to know what X-ray does better than ground penetrating radar. So here we go. Let's kick it off. So number one, all right. Um, GPR can be marked, marked in real time, right? Meaning that the concrete can be marked in real time, where X-ray has to be, um, right, processed off site. Now GPR can be processed off site as well and I encourage people to do that but that's sort of a second level right so you can mark right on the ground as you're locating very very accurate with your marks exactly what you see with ground penetrating radar and then afterwards you can go back to the lab the computer and create you know uh, um, prettier models of the subsurface 3D you know isosurfaces um, you know or do some additional analysis like uh, uh, you know, estimating rebar diameter or something like that. That's another video that I'll, I'll link up below. Um, but you can mark in real time or off-site and off-site, x-ray process off-site only. That's number one. Number two, you need the back of the concrete, but you need two sides of the concrete slab, let's say, in order to take an image. So you need two sides. In GPR, you only need one. Now, what makes this powerful then is that you can do GPR on slabs that are right on grade, right? Slabs that are on the ground that you can't get underneath. It doesn't matter. GPR, well, actually, it'll tell you how thick the slab is, right? You can estimate concrete slab thicknesses, okay? So only need one side, need two sides. Three. And furthermore, Get at me in the comments and tell me if I'm wrong about any of these, okay? But tell me if I'm wrong. But three, GPR, uh, can, you know, locate any material. X-ray, I think, only locates ferrous materials. Only locates ferrous materials. So it's limited in what it can locate. This can locate anything as long as there's a contrast. Number four. <clears throat> number four, number four. Let's think. How about safe radiation? <laughs> okay, so safe, uh, no radiation, x-ray produces radiation. Right. Uh, five. 
How about, um, I believe, <laughs> faster, slower, right? So there's a time consequence for this, right? Number one is process off-site time consequence. Um, but also number two is people have to, right, sometimes abandon the building Right? or at least the floor, okay, maybe the floor, right, while it's going on and for X amount of time uh, afterwards. So, marked in real time versus processed off-site, only need one side, you need two sides for x-ray, can locate any material, GPR, only locate ferrous materials for x-ray, safe, no radiation for GPR, Radiation from x-ray, faster for GPR, slower for x-ray, in big part because people generally have to abandon uh, uh, the job site, or at least literally the area that it's being uh, x-rayed. And clear me up on this. If I'm wrong on this, clear it up, okay? Clear it up. Uh, and then here, and again, this will depend, I think, on who's doing it, but potentially GPR tends to be um, less expensive to hire out, uh, more expensive. And again, I think <laughs> maybe that's a benefit depending on how you're looking at it, right? Um, from a perspective. But here's a list that I can come up with. Um, I don't know much about this, but I want to hear what you think. I want to hear somebody who has, please, if you have experience with x-ray, then tell me in the comments below what I missed, right? What does x-ray do better than GPR that I'm missing here? Um, or, you know, if I've missed an issue with x-ray, tell me that in the comments as well, all right? But I'm trying to lay it out as a comparison because I can't see why, we, you know, folks would potentially continue to use it unless it creates an image that is so far superior to GPR that it's worthwhile to go through all of this, right? It's worthwhile to go through all of this because the image is so superior. Tell me. I would like to know. And uh, um, so that's what I got for you today. Uh, I hope that this was valuable. I hope this helped. Maybe you know all this already, but do me a favor. I don't know more than this. Add to my list. Add benefits of x-ray in the comments or add more issues with x-ray in the comments. If you like this video, if you think it's some, it's, it offers value, uh, then please like the video, click the thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel, and you will get notified uh, every single week when we put out new videos. Uh, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time.